Hi everyone, this is Caleb from Safety Pilot with another video on for flight. This is the first video in a series, uh, what I'm calling VFR Pilot. It's for student pilots, private pilots, recreational pilots, even sport pilots out there. Anybody that's doing basic VFR flying, uh, we're going to cover things like reading charts, using weather, making VFR flight plans that match your paper nav log. Uh, right now, though, we're going to start off with uh, what I think is one of the most underutilized features of ForeFlight. That's the Documents tab. This tab is going to allow us to access things like the Federal Aviation Regulations, the Aeronautical Information Manual, um, flight manuals, POHs, AFMs, things like that. It's a great tool. It auto-updates. Let's get started, and I'll show you how it works. Okay, with that swift intro, we are into the Documents tab. Uh, I have some binders here on the left. If you're new to ForeFlight or haven't used this tab, you won't have anything. You can go ahead and click Add New Binder. We'll start with that. Let's call this VFR Pilot. Okay, so you can see here that you can add as many binders as you want. I've got some for different themes. I recommend you do the same. Let's open VFR Pilot. We notice that it's empty on the right, uh, so we want to fill it with stuff. Well, ForeFlight gives us some preloaded in information. Um, it's not downloaded, but we can download it. Um, of course, I have it already downloaded for the video. Uh, and then we can also add in pretty much anything else we want. We can add in our own Word documents, our own um, information manuals, all that kind of stuff. So let's get started and build a VFR pilot binder. This is phenomenal if you're planning for a check ride. by the way. You can get everything, like the, the AIM, the FARS, PHAC, just all that stuff. You can get it on your device, bring it to a check ride, and you're ready to go. And it will automatically update. So let's look at the drives down on the bottom left. We have a ForeFlight tab. Let's open that. Now we've got guides here on how to use most of their tabs and how to read their information. Good stuff to look at. I find it a little bit hard to, it's a little wordy, but you can go ahead and take a look at it. What I'm looking at specifically here is light gun signals. This is a great thing to reference. It's hard to remember, especially if you're a brand new private pilot or, or a student pilot, but maybe either way. So let's add it to our, our uh, VFR pilot binder. There's a, there's a file button with a plus up here in the top middle. We can click that and then we can select which binder to add it to. Now we see VFR pilot has one document. Okay, so that's great, we have that. What else can we add? Well, there's also an FAA drive, and the FAA has given us lots of information. We have things like aviation weather, um, flight plan forms, flight plan guides to help us understand what, how to even fill out those complicated forms. We can, add one, we can add some of those. Go ahead and add them if you want to. I'm going to add the chart supplement. Uh, let's select the north central region, for example, and we can add it to our VFR pilot. We can also... Uh, we could add other regions. Let's look at the Federal Aviation Regulations, another great thing to have. I recommend, if you're new to this, adding Part 1, which is your definitions, Part 61, which is your certification for pilots, Part 91, which is your general operating rules, and that's it. If you're particularly savvy at maintenance, you can also add Part 43, but we're going to skip that for now. Not necessary. Okay, so we have our FARs. These update automatically, by the way. So if they change the FARs, you're going to get an update. As long as you're connected to the internet in some way, you'll get that information. Handbooks. There are tons of them. Let's add the ACS for private pilot. This is your testing standards if you're taking a check ride. Uh, if you're a private pilot already, it might not matter as much. But student pilots and those preparing for check rides definitely add it. We also have the aeronautical information manual. Let's add that. And we can add the airplane flying handbook and we'll add the pilot's handbook of aeronautical knowledge as well. Uh, there are lots of other things in here. There's stuff on weight and balance, there's stuff on weather, there's stuff on more stuff on flight plans. I recommend taking a look through here and picking things that fit what you are looking for. Risk management, there's ADM, aeronautical decision making, uh, flight and icing, all kinds of stuff, really depending on how you want to build your binder. Um, yeah, so just take a look through here. Uh, another thing I want to show you is, let's say you have uh, let's say you're a, a big paper book person and you want to tab everything out and you're maybe you're switching over to this and you're like how am I going to find stuff for example I open the p hack and it's like where am I going to find stuff on you know whatever well I can go to a page in the p hack let's just say I want to learn about the pedostatic system I can bookmark it 
So I can press this button right here, bookmark, and I can say, I'll call it pedo. And now I have my pedo static bookmarked. So now if I want to, let's say I'm a million pages away and I want to figure out where is the pedo static information, I can press search here and I can search by word or by content, or I can search by bookmark, click pedo, and I'm back at the pedo static section. As you can see, this is phenomenal use for people that are private pilots and want to study up on information they haven't read in a while. Uh, maybe you have a biannual flight review coming up. Also fantastic for people that are preparing for a check ride. You can tab out your book. Uh, you can also add markings on your book here. Uh, you can highlight the heck out of it if you want. So fantastic tool. All right, so we have we've got our FAA and ForeFlight stuff in. The last thing I want to show you is imports. So I have some example here of what you can import. Uh, you can import um, flight manuals. Maybe you want to import what your uh, avionics panel looks like. So you can remember. Maybe you want to update, upload a, an AFM, an aircraft flight manual, uh, pilot's operating handbook. Maybe you want to put in your electronic equipment manuals. Uh, you can put in weight and balance information. You can just see the list is endless. You can also add documents. Let's add one here from file. I'm going to use my Google Drive. Uh, and I'm just going to dig through here for a file that we might want to that we might want to use. Let's say we want to do filing a flight plan, a document we made. There we go. This document is now imported. And we can scroll up and we see we have a docx file. And this Word document is now in here. Let's add it to our binder, VFR Pilot. And now we've got a complete VFR Pilot binder. Of course, we could have added more. Why don't you personalize your own uh, and make use of it? Uh, you can see here, if we could make any Word document we want, we would put any information we want in it. Maybe it's check ride tips, hints. Maybe it's a, you know those cheat sheets like we used to have note cards when I was in school and you just wrote as much as you could on them. Maybe you make one of those for your check ride. Maybe you make one of those as a VFR pilot, just safety things to remember. You can put that all on here and you can reference it anytime on the ground or in flight. Phenomenal tools. Remember, this stuff updates automatically. The FAA stuff does. So your, your, your FAR and your AIM, your chart supplement, it's all going to be up-to-date information in your electronic flight bag. All right, that's going to wrap up this video. Please stay tuned for other videos. I'm going to be covering, I'm going to be covering aircraft performance and flight planning and for flight like I'm pretty sure you, I, I got to say, like you've never seen. So I'm really excited about it, and I hope you all learned something from this video and the videos to come. Thanks for tuning in to Safety Pilot, and have a great day.